Hey, what's up, everyone? It's uh, it's Tuesday, the twenty fifth of October, and we've had a little green day today. A little bit disappointing. I should have been trading a little bit more than I did because the the, the market was a bullish market today. Uh, the S and P five hundred um, had a nice little rally. The the Nasdaq had a rally. Uh, so the the markets were were green. Um, and moved up quite well. A lot of the mid and large cap stocks moved up quite well as well. We traded pre-market. We traded, well, we actually didn't trade pre-market. We were looking pre-market. We didn't actually take any trades until probably the first 10 minutes of the open market. And then we traded uh, uh, Pinduoduo. We were watching some of the Chinese stocks that sold off so heavily yesterday. Uh, for a little bit of bounce, so we, we traded that. Traded a few, uh, a few different things uh, today. We actually traded seven stocks in total, and we had two that went against us, and we had five that went for us. In total, we finished four hundred and fifty-seven dollars profitable. It's a green day. Any green day is a good day, and whilst it's a small green day what that does is it leaves us slightly behind um, both on the month and on the year so at the end of october i really should have been looking at a uh, million dollars gross we're currently sitting at 975 so it means we've got four days left of october and we're 25k behind effectively 25k behind in terms of the, the the gross numbers if i go based on my pro rata target of five thousand dollars a day we've got four days that's only 20 so we're going to leave october based on you know at target performance levels we're going to leave october slightly behind going into the last two months of the uh, of the year and and that's not really where i want to be so we've got four days to pull it out of the bag we've got four days the markets have been quite difficult to try difficult the what's been really missing has been volume what i would say is is today we saw good volume on some of the mid and large cap stocks and i tend to be i tend to favor the small caps uh, but when the small caps aren't moving or, or when those small caps don't have any volume or, or volatility then obviously we'll look to the the, the larger and mid cap stocks or, or we'll look to go short and yesterday was a good day for going short i didn't but it would have been a good day for going short particularly with the chinese stocks but today there was a lot of earnings and funny enough as as we as sit here there's there's earnings dropping uh, this this evening as well so there's a lot of earnings uh, dropping and uh, let's let's have a look at the uh, the the summary so 457 is is where we finished let's have a quick look at the uh, the wider wider market so if we look at the s p 500 so this is uh, the uh, spy let's look at this on the 15 minute uh, so the, the 15 minute you can see the, the wider market and, and all of the markets were like this and the nasdaq they kind of shot up out of the uh, out of the blocks went green at the open a uh, real good rally and then continued to rally for most of the day after close of just a bit of a sell-off down to the vwap but this has been the the, the story of the day if i look at the uh, the queues which is effectively the, the, the nasdaq similar kind of fashion bigger sell-off but uh, uh, this is a classic head and shoulders formation there so this is you know likely to continue selling off for a little while yet so the move up first shoulder head shoulder second shoulder uh sell off but the markets in general were very very bullish today and and, and we, we got that passed on to a lot of the the individual stocks uh so uh, our, our first uh, first one that we traded was uh, was pin duo duo or ticket um pdd uh, and I'm going to look at uh, so this moved up quickly. We'll look at the five minute chart uh, down at the uh, at the open. As you can see at the open, uh, it started to move up, and we were able to catch some of this. We got the we got the pop up, and uh, we we got a quick uh, quick pop up uh, on this before a, a, then a retracement and, and and a sell off and then a kind of static um, sideways momentum throughout most of the day very choppy uh, but pin duo door was the first and it, we got five hundred dollars on on, on pin duo door uh we then traded amd so pin duo door is a mid cap stock uh amd also mid cap stock so uh we got onto a amd 
and we also got um, 500 just over 500 dollars on on amd so that put us a thousand dollars up uh, within the first 10 15 minutes uh of, of, the, of the move up so we're able to trade amd uh then we traded uh lucid lucid we, we didn't get huge uh, huge gains on on uh, lucid lucid we only made a hundred dollars uh it basically we got this little move here and then it started to pull back so we, we didn't get much on 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 lucid at all uh then we traded um uh, sober safe which is a, a much much uh lower price stock so sober uh sober safe this is again this was moving up and we got in up here what what i affectionately call the the, the devil's horns or the rabbit ears whichever you want to call it and uh, we got in as it was looking to make new highs and it, it started to retrace and because i'd seen the the, the, the rabbit ears on the five minutes uh, i exited the position we, we made um uh, almost 600 dollars loss on that so we started cutting into that and uh, unfortunately that's that's just uh, one of those uh, we went from a little over a thousand up to 500 up. so we're, we're still good on on the day at that stage uh, we then traded Neo, another Chinese stock that uh, had uh, heavily sold off yesterday, uh, and we were looking for for a continued move up. We got we got this pullback, and uh, we then we look for an, another move up. But we got in up here, ten thirties, and it, it set the pullback again. So not ideal for us um, to to trade Neo. Uh, we we held on to that for a couple of minutes. And as it pulled back, we 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 got out. We made a profit on the old 100 bucks. But at this stage, I'm kind of thinking this is the way it's going to be. It's going to be quite choppy from here on in. It's going to be base hits. Uh, and uh, I, I looked for um, Snapchat. Snapchat, I think it was. Uh, so Snap was the uh, trade that we took with this it wasn't the flash trade that we took but where did we where did we get him on on snapchat so uh, so pull back move for the move back up this is where we tried to get in and uh it, it, it pulled back here and, and we exited for a 500 dollar loss so uh the, the, this stage we pretty much wiped out what we'd uh what we got i think it was um not quite but a, a lot of the gains that we'd had uh, and then later in the day, took the dog for a walk. We weren't in a, a, a good place at this stage, so I took took the dog for a walk. Uh, and then when we came back, we traded uh, Novavax. The Novavax. Uh, after we came back, we were looking for a, a move upwards on Novavax. So that's when we got these Doges here, and uh, and this move up here. Uh, so this is where we got in these doges and we got in here as we broke new highs and we were able to ride this up i did get a little bit kind of um, nervous up here with uh with the, the the doji so as it pulled back again we, we exited the position and didn't make a new entry at, at any point we made just over 250 uh, 250 bucks on 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 novavax um i had to go out and do some errands i had to go out and, and uh run some errands as well so uh that was me done for the day i uh, came back literally about i was supposed to do a power hour stream and uh, go live for, for for power hour and do some trading in power and just life got ahead of me and, and that's i suppose that's one of the joys of of uh, being a day trader is you know you're not beholden to the market if you don't want to trade or you can't trade then there's another day another trade tomorrow there's another trading day tomorrow and that's where i am today i'm a little bit disappointed on um where we finished simply because there was a lot of of stocks that moved up uh, a, a lot of the mid cap stocks moved up but there's quite a lot of stocks moved up um there wasn't any parabolic movers so i didn't miss out on any big gains but I, I, there was a potential there for me to, to to make enough to get to goal i'm just gonna have to make it up tomorrow uh, it's a green day and any good any green day is a good day so let's i mean let's let's have a quick look i've imported the um i've imported the the, the trades into uh trade view and uh if we look at where we're actually at right now let's have a look okay so this is this is trade if you, you see i've just imported the, the today's trades uh there let's have a look at the details so this is 
if I look back through the year, we can see that I've had quite a few four four red days already this um, uh, this this month. Uh, it's the same amount as last month, and not quite as many as August, but. I can't afford to have any more. We've got four more trading days left. I can't afford to um, can't afford to have any red days there. If we're going to get back on track uh, for the, not just for the month but for for the year, we, I think we've got to write off October as a as a, as a bad trading month. Uh, and uh, we'll look at where October in a moment. Write it off and come back strong for November and December. Let's say nine seven five is where we're up at the moment plus change. So that gives us. 25 or 24 plus change, thousand two to make up for this month. We've got four trading days left, so 6,000 per day plus change. Uh, it should take us to the annual uh, pro rata goal for, for for the month. We're a little bit behind on the on the year, uh, and we're getting very dangerously close to falling below that that $5,000 per day uh, average. We need to stay above $5,000 per day to have a chance of hitting the uh, the overall annual goal. Now, I, I would stress I'm not going to get overly upset if we don't manage to get to the seven figure number on the year but that i set myself that goal i'm a very competitive individual very ambitious individual so we set ourselves a goal at, at the beginning of the year and, and that's um uh, that's what we hope to achieve you can see here that in terms of risk reward for most of the year it's been really on point it's uh, 6.2 now two or above is considered good in terms of risk, risk versus reward and i'm getting 6.2 um let's let's just Put the month in here and filter that out and let's look at October. So you can see the K ratio here is 0 0.8. So it, that's not great at all. It's uh, it's profitable, but just barely. Uh, and I would say taking bigger risk to achieve lower reward. That's that's the problem with that. Uh, and you can see that in terms of the, the, the gains that I've had versus the, um, the losses. If I was to have a two to one, just, just put this into perspective. If I had the magic ratio, the golden ratio of two to one on risk reward, and that's how my uh, gains were being, uh, I would have made $134,000 right now. And as a result of that, I would have had 67,000 in losses. So instead I've got 92,000 in losses. So there's $25,000 to the worst side from where I am right now. So if I put that into perspective, we were $25,000 better off if my risk versus reward ratios were better in October, I'd be $25,000 better off. That will put me up at $67,000 on the month, which would, with, uh, with, with four trading days left, pro rata potentially taking to $87,000 on the month, versus the hundred thousand dollar goal so it's the risk versus reward piece that's that's actually letting me down um everything else is, is not too bad the accuracy isn't too bad so 63 to um three to two to one uh 60 percent versus 30 percent or, or 50 versus 35 to three whatever two to one the, the, the accuracy trade selection accuracy is not too bad but what i'm actually losing is eating into too much of what i'm making so that's where where I'm at. If I was those two to one ratios, golden ratio of two to one, uh, I wouldn't be too far off the the, the goal. I'll be thirteen thousand off um, the pro rata, tracking to about thirteen thousand off uh, off off the monthly goal, and that would put us ahead of the annual goal as well. So you know, a little bit disappointed on on. I can see where where I'm actually at. Uh, still not recovered. So we had this drawdown. Two weeks ago, we had this big drawdown. We had a, a red day on the Thursday, and then a big red day on the following Friday. We made a little bit back, uh, and then we have made some back, and then we had another drawdown. And uh, we've still not. So we've still not recovered from the original drawdown from two weeks ago. Uh, so we've still got a little bit to get in terms of the equity curve. Get the equity curve back in a positive um, uh, setting. Um, what I would say is I expected to make more today, but if I look at the performance based on the, the, the days of the week, um, Mondays and Fridays, historically this month have, have been losing days, but the other three have been uh, winning days. And Tuesday has been my best performing day so far this month, but not today. 
So unfortunately, that's that's you know letting us down. But anyway, that, those those are my statistics, and and I've got to use those to try and put myself back on track, get myself back into um, into the swing of things. And we go again tomorrow. So tomorrow is Wednesday. Uh, we are going to set ourselves a, a, an ambitious goal. Instead of the five thousand that we normally go for, we're going to up that to six and a half thousand. And if we can get six and a half thousand, if the market's not permitting, the market's not permitting, and, and we'll just wait till the market is permitting. But if we can get six and a half thousand every day this uh, for the rest of the month, we, it gives us a, a chance to not only get over seven figures on on the month uh, growth, which puts us in line for the year, then it, it gives us a chance to actually hit the goal for for, for the year. So th that's what I'm looking at. Let's get back on track for the year for the month and uh, see where we are. We're not we're not red. We're green on the week. We're green on the month. Uh, we're green on the year. So we're profitable. We're still profitable. We're just falling a little bit behind target. We're a little bit behind goal, and that's really down to the adverse market conditions. Let's put this into perspective. When I set this goal at the beginning of the year, we were just at the top of a bull market. We were just about to enter a, a, a bear market. I didn't know that. So we're just about to enter bear market conditions in January, and we were at the top. We were the the, the markets, the S and P, the Nasdaq would just be making all time highs uh, in the new year, the back end of December, the other part of January. So I set myself this goal of of having a seven figure net um, uh, net year, five thousand dollars growth per day, uh, every day across the year, you know, on average uh, every day across the year, and we've not been doing too well against that even in the bearish conditions so i've got to look at the positives i've got to keep zooming out and look at the, look for the positives otherwise it's just going to eat at me and, uh, and 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 frustrate me but look i'll be back at it tomorrow let's see if we can't eat into some of this deficit and uh, and get back on track and get past this this drawdown that we created two uh, two weeks ago i'll be back at the the desk trading 90 minutes before the market opens that's 8 a.m new york east coast time it's 1 p.m here in dublin or, or 1 p.m in the uk um, 2 p.m on the continent of europe come join me and uh, let's do it all again keep me company as i'm trading I'll look forward to seeing you then